Senate Republicans are getting some help in selling their very unpopular tax bill, which is pulling at less than 30 percent. The Koch brothers are coming to the rescue. Their political network, funded by wealthy GOP donors, had already invested $20 million to push for the bill before its passage. And now, according to BuzzFeed, they will launch a multi-million dollar campaign with, quote, full-scale nationwide education campaign to try and convince middle-class Americans to support a tax cut that largely benefits both the rich and corporations. Congressman Ro Khanna, Democrat of California, joins me. Um, you think they'll, they, they'll have success as the withholdings get recalculated in the spring and there is some expectation that people have such low opinion of this bill, they're actually uh, underestimating the number of people that will get a tax cut, people will see a little more money in their paycheck. I think people get it. Uh, they know that this was largely a corporate tax cut. You know, President Obama in 2009 actually passed a bigger middle class tax cut. I was in the administration and people didn't notice that. And that was about $1,000 more than this. So this is temporary. They know the vast majority of benefit goes to shareholders are going to go into stock buybacks and it doesn't help uh, working families. How big a role do you imagine mega donors and super PACs like the Koch Network are gonna play in 2018? Well, look, I mean, they're going to be out in full force, but the problem is tougher than just saying we need to defeat the agenda of self-interested donors. This is actually a mantra of these folks. I mean, they believe that the economic concentration of the investor class is a good thing. They want Peter Thiel's to get the money because they believe people with pedigree and networks invest it and drive economic growth. And I think what the Democrats need to say is actually we need to bet on real people. It's the economic growth of the country is driven by nurses and factory workers and teachers and we need to give them the money and trust them with the economy. We have to win the philosophical argument, I think, to uh, succeed. I, I wonder how much that philosophical argument is even up for debate in the hands of the voters. I mean, I, one of the things that's remarkable about this tax cut is that it's a tax cut that is unpopular. It, it almost seems the Democrats won the philosophical <laughs> rhetorical debate, and it didn't matter, and they passed it anyway, and now they're just going to roll the dice that they could throw enough ad money at it to, to get out alive. Yeah, and I think, look, they, they actually believe this stuff. When you talk to Republican colleagues, they are convinced on the whole trickle-down economics. And you can argue till you're blue in the face. I mean, their own conservative econom economists say that only 20% of corporate tax cuts will actually get to workers, and that'll be years from now. And yet they just believe this as a mantra, and it's, it's amazing to me. I mean, they don't care about the public opinion polls. I agree with you that we won the debate. The one place I do think the Democrats need to do uh, more is to say that our vision actually is going to produce economic growth. It's the only thing that ever has is investing in the middle class tax cut uh, and putting money in, in working families. And the reason is simple. Look, Apple and these companies are sitting on billions of dollars. If they wanted to hire more, create more jobs, they could already do that. The reason they haven't is because they don't have people buying their products. Right. So it's common sense if you give people more money to buy the products, that's what's going to create growth. So I do think we need to make that argument. All right, Congressman Ro Khanna, thanks for making time tonight. Thank you.